Well, hello again. Confirmation number four. Uh, let's just get going. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. You hear this every single Sunday. We all recite it every single Sunday. But we don't really think about it. And that's not at all what Jesus wanted. Jesus literally said, this is how you pray. Both in Matthew and in Luke. Matthew 6, 5 through 15, and Luke 11, 1 through 13. He literally says, say this prayer. This is the stuff that's important. And we do. We say it, but do we think about it? I think Jesus wants us to really think about it. So, I'm gonna kind of go through some stuff here that I want you to really think about, and maybe this will change your mind a little bit as far as really paying attention during this prayer. Uh, the first thing I want you to do is make a comparison. A couple weeks ago, we talked about the Ten Commandments, and then we shortened that down, or actually, wait, not we, Jesus shortened that down. Somebody came up to him and said, what is the most important commandment? And he said, Love your God with all your heart and all your mind and all your strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. Uh, have you ever noticed that when you say the Lord's Prayer, that's what you're doing? Literally. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It's about God. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us the, those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. Please deliver us from evil. That's about us. Oh, oh, and by the way, this is not a mistake and or something you should go past really quick. How many times when you read the Lord's Prayer, when you say the Lord's Prayer, do you hear the word, I or me. I'm waiting. Yet yeah, don't. You hear the word us. And Jesus did that very specifically. He was talking about the community of believers. He's talking about all of us, our neighbor as he said in the second part of the greatest commandments. It's about our neighbor. We're supposed to be paying attention to us. This isn't just a prayer where Clay Nelson goes, oh Lord, please, this is what I'm focusing on, even though that's part of it. But every time I say the Lord's Prayer, I'm also supposed to be speaking for all of those people. I'm speaking for you. I'm speaking for my daughters. I'm speaking for everyone. It's about us. As a matter of fact, I'll just state it. Now, there's seven different petitions that are going through in the Lord's Prayer that are really, really important, and I want you to pay attention. The first petition is, how it be thy name? And that's literally talking about keeping God's name holy. Thy kingdom come. Yet yeah, we, we want your, Lord, your kingdom to come to us here on earth. And we want to make sure that we're doing everything we can 
to create a time where this kingdom is going to come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We need to do what God wants us to do. That's petition number three. Petition number four. And this one's an interesting one. Give us this day our daily bread. Bread. There's a reason why God used, or Jesus used bread here. It's because of manna. It's that original time when we were wandering around in the desert and we had to rely on God for everything. The manna, the bread. We're supposed to rely on everything from God. But there's also another reason why he uses bread. I mean, because you don't suffer for bread. I don't suffer for bread. If the fact that you've got this and you're able to look on the internet at this video tells me that you got some stuff. But there's people out there that need bread. Jesus is talking about us and our relationship with them. And helping others. Okay. Number five, of course, the petition. And give us, uh, or forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. You know, we're going to sin. That's why we need Jesus. Please forgive us for that. But also remember that people are going to sin against us. And we're supposed to forgive them. That's hard. But we have to. That's what he's calling us to do. Because if we can't do even a smidgen of what he did for us, where are we? Petition number six. And lead us not into temptation. Wow. Wow. You know, please be with us, God, and keep us going on the path you want. And we know you're going to give us some stuff that's going to be used, and it's going to be hard. Be with us during those trials. But deliver us from evil, petition number seven. Lord, just protect us. Be there with us, and be there with everyone. Once again... I can't say this enough times today. It's about all of us. This isn't a me prayer. And then, of course, the doxology at the very end, which is, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen, of course, being it's true. It's a beautiful, beautiful prayer. And I, I think we tend to just kind of say it. And, you know, I've been doing some research on this. And this is the prayer. Jesus said, literally, when you pray, pray like this. He didn't say, you know, this is an example. You know, he said, do this. You know, take that into consideration when you think about the fact that even before we open our mouths, God knows exactly what we want. So when we get ready to do those prayers and we start to just regurgitate things, God already knows. And the Lord's Prayer is his way of saying, no, focus here. And um, I did some reading here. This is, this is one of my all-time favorite people in the world here, Diedrich Bonhoeffer. He's one of my heroes and I... Uh, I will talk to you if I haven't already about him. But he's got a quote here in The Cost of Discipleship that I think is worth reading. It says, Jesus told his disciples not only how to pray, but what to pray. The Lord's Prayer is not merely a pattern prayer. It is the way Christians 
must pray. If you pray this, Lord, God will certainly hear you. Consider that. Think about it. Lord's Prayer isn't something we should mention just on Sundays. The Lord's Prayer is something we should be saying daily. And when we do, focus on what you are saying. It's hard, I know. But really contemplate those words and give them to God. All right. Thank you much for the look and listen. You guys take care.